So just take a step back. One of the big things uh, when, we're, when we talk to big businesses and small businesses, so people who are in charge of their brand, promoting their products and services and driving sales, is they hear about the hype of the internet, but they say, you know what, okay, what does that mean for me? Are my customers and my prospects you know, truly online? And I understand you know, my sales funnel, I understand the buying cycle, what role does the internet play in that? And so that's really one of the big reasons and one of the big questions we want to answer. So the Consumer Commerce Barometer seeks to understand the purchase cycle or the sales funnel um, in a number of verticals, uh, seven verticals and a number of sub-verticals in there, um, across 14 markets in Asia Pacific um, and in additional uh, markets in Europe and the US. So for the first time really now, this is a free tool that's available online at consumerbarometer.com that enables um, brand owners or anyone to compare the behavior or the purchase behavior of say a, say a user in Singapore compared to a user in Indonesia compared to that to someone in Germany and the US across all of those verticals. Because I think one of the reasons that we realized that this was the right time to do it and, and why it was important is because we want big businesses and small businesses in charge of advertising budgets to be, to be able to make informed decisions. And those informed decisions really rely on having the right data in front of them about what their consumers are doing, what their customers are doing, um, and the role that the internet is playing in that decision. If we take Singapore as an example, one of the things that the, the, the key learning um, was that the internet is not a, a, a niche channel. It's, it is mainstream and everyone is on it, both from the youth through to um, you know, the older segments as well. But the single biggest finding we found was that 85% of uh, purchase, purchases started with the internet in terms of research comparing products and services. So to put that in context, 8.5 out of 10 purchases, the internet was the starting point. Whether that purchase ultimately was made online or whether that was made offline, the web is the starting point. And if we dig a little bit into that, search engines are the starting point when people go online. Um, they're exploring a number of things. They're not just going to the brand owner's website. They're realizing that they, they want to get both expert opinions on, say, that new phone they want to buy. They want, they're becoming far more savvy with comparing prices. And they want to get feedback from people like themselves who maybe have bought that product and how they feel about it afterwards. So that really, that 85% that of purchases start with the internet is, is super impactful, I think. And that shows that, it's not, that, that the internet is not niche, this is really there.